What's up guys, this is Cody. I'm going to be showing you how to install Dash Launch for your JTAG, which basically enables you to boot up into any XEX you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do it so it boots up in the uh, Freestyle Dash. Now, what you're going to want to do is boot up your console. You can see Xbox 360 logo right here, booting up. Now, uh, before we go any further, I'm going to tell you that you will need your uh, your freeboot image, your original one, uh, not your original NAND dump, your freeboot image. Um, you're go also going to need your CPU key, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you don't have your CPU key, I'll show you how to do this now. Power off your console. Uh, wait a few seconds. Now, boot. Uh, turn on the console with the eject button, and you're going to get all this text on your screen basically it's booting the console into Zelle and it'll tell you um, your CPU key and your DVD key now I recommend writing this stuff down if you don't have it uh, but you should already have it if not I'm just telling you how to get it um, it's gonna show all this other shit for now but uh, whenever it wants to go yeah so it's it's gonna, it's gonna try you know FTPing um, but yeah, see your CPU key is blah 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 blah. Your DVD key is blah blah blah. Of uh, installing Dash Launch, we just picked up from the console, so you should have your CPU key and your freeboot image ready. Now um, you're gonna want to um, open Freeboot Toolbox Maker. Download link below in the description. Enter your CPU key, and I'm pretty sure this is mine, but I'm gonna double check. Um, JTAG, JTAG man dump. Now you're gonna want to choose your freeboot image. Most people label it freeboot.bin. You might have not, but yeah, that's what you want. But then I'm just gonna get my CPU key here. Copy it. Now uh, you're gonna want to enter your CPU key. Uh, dash launch 1.0 patches. Choose NAND. Um, auto detect my motherboard. Uh, don't, uh, this is the destination of where um, where you're going to want to put it so I'm just going to choose other directory and then I'll choose desktop and then uh, file name destination you're going to want to put uh, upd flash dot bin so then uh, you can flash this NAND with uh, flash 360 or with Zell. I'm going to be using flash 360 because for some reason Zell doesn't work for me and why did that just change Anyway, yeah, let's just go on here. Uh, you're gonna click Generate Freeboot. Now you're gonna want to open. Now you're gonna open your Freeboot uh, NAND. Now let's see um, JTAG NAND dump original Freeboot.bin for me. Now I'm just gonna have it dump to the desktop, and it's gonna ask me if the Xenon my motherboards uh, is correct with a CB of 1921, which is correct. So yes nation file already the wish to overwrite it I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it uh, actually I'll just go ahead and yes and uh, it's gonna build my freeboot image freeboot has been properly generated final bin location blah 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 alright so that's done so you're done with freeboot toolbox now another thing you're gonna need is the dash launch folder the flash installer now this whole folder flash installer folder is gonna go onto your JTAG don't worry about KXM patch for now, but um, we're just gonna go ahead. So uh, you're gonna want to take your USB or your USB hard drive, your USB, um, your USB memory device, of any sort. Uh, not, not. Uh, shit, what did I say? Oh yeah, not your your OEM hard drive or your official Microsoft hard drive. I'm gonna plug that in. Now, um, you're gonna see all this. Now, you're gonna see my directory. Now, I'm using a USB hard drive, so I'm gonna be, just use my tutorial. Now, uh, it's gonna be L USB zero colon backslash and then the directory. So, for instance, watch here as uh, mine's um my local disk F which is you're gonna replace local 
uh, local disk F or whatever your USB is, replace it with uh, L USB zero. Now remember, this is for uh, this is for Freestyle Dash on a USB hard drive or USB flash uh, drive. Now um, mine's Freestyle Dash and then Freestyle Dash .xex, which uh, isn't the case. Mine is uh, mine's default .xex, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to freestyle dash because that's this directory and I'm going to change this to default.xex now uh, you're going to save it so it saves the config file and uh, as you can see here it's saved now what you want to do is drag this whole folder I'm just going to drag mine in the application so it's just the directory I use this old one I'm going to take flash installer and all that and now uh, you're also going to need flash 360 so then uh, you're going to want to take your upd flash that bin that you just made in freeboot toolbox um, wherever it is all right here we go just going to drag this into sorry you should have should have dragged it into the root of the memory uh, stick now for also for the 30 millisecond ping patch Take that KXM, KXAM.patch and put it on the root of your uh, USB hard drive. Now we're going to go What's back up, to the guys, console and, welcome and that's to the, tutorial. Mm, the second Xbox portion of this tutorial for installing Dash Launch. Now I may have made a mistake on the computer part. Instead of putting UPD flash dot bin on your in the on the root of your hard drive, put it in the same put it in the same directory as Flash 360. I'll show you right now. So uh, just boot up XEX menu now you're one I'm gonna get the profile uh, now see how I put it here we don't want that you're gonna want to put it in your you're gonna find your folder for flash 360 and it should be right here upd flash dot bin should be there run the default XEX for uh, flash 360 you're gonna wanna write, press A and write upd flash dot bin. Uh, press B without keeping current kv slash config. Now mine is a zero pair because I got mine from a uh, from a donor NAND because I had bad blocks in my NAND, so it's gonna give me all these warnings, but um, they shouldn't for you. But if they do, I mean, I don't think you did anything wrong. So uh, press start button to ignore. continue. Press A to begin. It's going to start writing the blocks. Just wait for it to write. And also, uh, this is like hash launch enables you to use a real time Halo, um, launch, a free, uh, launch freestyle dash on startup. Now you're going to want to reboot your console here. And uh, it's going to shut down. And um, other things like patch the ping. So you're really getting the most out of your JTAG when you install dash launch and uh, 30 millisecond ping package. Now you're going to want to boot back up your console. Now, here's a moment of truth. If your console doesn't boot up, you did something wrong. Or if you get red rings. But most likely it will boot up. Don't you worry about it. Now, um, now it's going to take you into... Wait for it. You're going to choose your language because you've successfully written this NAND. Choose your thing, then skip it, continue. Choose an existing profile. My thing's got a widescreen, so it looks like shit right now. I'm just going to choose Cody. I'm not going to connect the live because I'm banned. Now, you're going to want to blah blah blah. Let me just change my format quick so it's easier for you guys to watch. Um, now, you're going to want to go to Game Library, XEX menu for the last time. Every other time from this point on, you'll be booting in the Freestyle Dash. Whoopee! Now, I uh, go to Freestyle Dash. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and launch Freestyle Dash.xex or default.xex, whatever you called it. Now, uh, you want to go to File Manager, 
USB 0, for style bash applications, run flash install, run the default.xex flash installer, not launch xex, default.xex. Now uh, press Y to exit, you're going to press A, and it should say success, I just press it again, I don't know why, uh, and then exit now. If it doesn't return to freestyle dash like it should, don't worry about it. Just uh, turn off your console, reboot, wait for it. If all is done right, you should boot into freestyle dash. This might it might take a little long right here because uh, it's booting into freestyle dash. So let's go through your hard drive, find the XEX, and launch it. But if I did it right, which I'm sure I did, then booted in a freestyle dash. Now, for the ping patch, here's what we're going to do. You're going to want to copy it to the root of all your memory devices. So, we're going to go to Utilities, File Manager. Now, uh, go to USB 0, see this KXM.patch. Press A on it, go to Copy. Now go to your HDD1, which is your OEM HDD, and just press... Sorry. Press Paste. Now there you have KXM, and then if done correctly, hold on, if you've done it correctly, when you sign in, it should say system link patched under your name. Alright, so that's it, you've installed Dash Launch, you're pretty much good to go, uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or anything went wrong, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. Alright guys, see ya.